Coach, congrats on the win. You avenged one from the regular season. How did you do it? Uh, different game plan. Uh, Peterson killed us that first game, so uh, we really packed it in the paint. We went a, a chaser on um, Everson, and then basically Peterson had a guy in front and a guy behind, so you could saw that dictated the game, and he went out to the perimeter where he was still effective. He still had 12 points, but below his average. And then we held Everson before, below his average with, uh, for five points, and I thought Mason Menifee did a great job, and it was a good team effort. Um, being better defensively and then offensively, um, attacking. Okay, being aggressive, attacking, getting to the hoop. Uh, that first game we were kind of hesitant and some of our guys didn't play great. Um, and then just having that confidence and playing a great game tonight. So I thought our guys stepped up. They had a better, uh, I think we had a good game plan and our mindset was better tonight. You guys hit four threes in the first quarter and it was from three different guys and that helped you get out to a lead. How did that kind of help? dictate the way you were able to control the game the rest of the way? I mean, we hit four threes, that's 12 points. We are up 12 points going to the fourth quarter. So, I mean, obviously that has had a huge impact. Um, and we know we can do that. I mean, we have guys that can hit threes. So, uh, I'm not surprised by it. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was huge for us. So, getting our offense clicking, going. I mean, anytime we can get hitting, an off uh, hitting shots early, that's only going to make offense uh, easier later on. To be able to put the game in the, away in the fourth quarter, what were some things you guys had to accomplish just to keep them from making a comeback? Uh, taking care of the ball, getting easy shots. Uh, in fact, when Peterson got that and one and they came down, they, they started getting a little momentum, and I thought our guys handled it well. We got a, a layup, and uh, at the bit, middle of the season, I don't think we would have done that. I think we would have uh, maybe not have finished the game strong because there were some games there that we didn't finish strong where we were up in eight, nine, ten points and end up losing. So. I think we've done a better job of preparing for end of game situations and uh, finishing games. And um, yeah, I thought Clay and Mason did a great job handling the ball. And then uh, Toby and Ty being there for outlets. And then Avery just stepping up when he's on the court. Yeah, was that one of the better outings you've seen from Avery Phillippe all year? I mean, he played good against some other teams, but not at this level of competition. So I thought definitely. Um, and it was a little rough to start. I was a little worried. Avery came in there, he had a few plays where he didn't quite do what he was supposed to do, but then he kind of got in a rhythm, kind of got in a groove, and then he got comfortable. So um, Avery played a great game. Without him, we might lose that game. You never know. So uh, even Boston, when Boston got in there, he played some great minutes for us, gave us some guys some uh, quick break or even foul trouble. So uh, Avery and Boston, uh, they did a great job tonight. It's, uh, I mean, obviously the double digit lead is nice to have, but did you kind of get in a tough situation there where you didn't want to take the gas off too early? Yeah, um, when we when they kept trapping, we still need to be aggressive, still get to the hoops, still try to get some layups, try to get points in. That kind of goes with, we need to do a better job finishing the game, but um, I thought our guys handled it well. But yeah, we want to, uh, when, if they're trapping, we want to make sure we find that open man and then look to attack and see if we can get a layup um, off that. So that's something that we could definitely improve for uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday night. Yes, Saturday night, Montezuma, they won, they beat Kyoto, so uh, you know, they've got a heck of a player in Burgess. What kind of a player is he? Uh, that's their big guy. He's He sets a lot of screens, and he's a great passer, great passer. Uh, but Shear is their go-to guy. Yeah, that's maybe what you're probably talking about. Yeah. He he has the ball in his hands 85% of the time, it seems like. when I, I've been watching a lot of film, probably more film this past week than the entire season. Um, and it's no disrespect to Central Decatur. Co uh, I just talked to Coach Clark, and he's been scouting them too. Just you got to be prepared for that quick turnaround. Um, but yeah, he's a great player. Probably one of the best offensive players in the state. He can shoot the three, 15 foot jumper, take it all the way to the hoop, dribble left, dribble right. Um, yeah, he's he's tough. So. Um, we'll have to prepare for him, and then they have some other guys that are pretty good players too. So um, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, I think we'll have a okay game plan going in, and we'll see how we uh, execute that. Yeah, and talking with some of the players already, it seems like the, you know they've been thinking about this, preparing for this mentally, physically for you know Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, boom, boom, boom for quite a while now. Yeah, um, I think we had a stretch there. We had three games in three days, or even had uh, four games in five days. And I was like, guys, this is getting us ready for this postseason. Um, so, yeah, they knew what was expected. Uh, and I thought we had a great practice last night. Tomorrow we're going to have a great practice for Montezuma. Um, yeah, but the guys kind of know what's expected. We have to come ready to go every single night. Congrats, Coach. Thanks.